I don't Over think anyway. <laughs> Overall, pretty neutral, I believe. Oh yeah. I feel like it's a bit better for Fox, but that's about it. Not not exactly a bad stage. Anyway, we're getting right into it. All right. So PS One, as I thought. Yes. Right, we're seeing... We've seen a lot of uh, jump nares from shield coming from Troy. Covers a lot of space when out of shield. Like, you'll see Balo try to pressure his shield and then he'll jump nair. Yes. Nair is an amazingly good move. Right. On both of these characters, actually. Yes. Fought with the horizontal oh, combos. Oh, wow. Sealing that one off real quick <laughs> with that F smash. Right. Crap. Balo is not here to play. He wants to win. Well, I... Okay. <laughs> I can't imagine someone coming here and not wanting to win. You know what? I came in. I want to lose. Yeah, that is very Meet true. Meet me in round one. Here you go. C free. and M bracket. Here, have a, have a bracket coupon. You win. <laughs> anyway, we're seeing... We're seeing, seeing Balo taking a more commanding lead. He's up a uh, full stock and some handy percent here. Very handy percent. Almost like a back air will kill at this percent, I believe, depending on the stage position. And oh, there's that up run up up he's, up he's really taking it. Now, he is at 100, and he is against Ridley. So this this first stock, I imagine Croy will take it before he loses his la his final. If but, he can uh, move in, yeah, Balo is... Literally yeah. all over him right now. Yeah, if we but we if we keep up with this momentum, that I feel like Croy won't get anything else. Yeah, for sure. See there's oh, oh not quite. Not quite. Oh. Ooh, almost. See, there's that stock. Now let's see what happens here. Right. So if Croy can get the momentum in his favor, Ridley can rack up damage and kill quite early. Um Fox very light in this game. So it's not impossible. Yes. It's, it, it'd be excellent to see him bring this back. Oh, the reverse hit of up smash. That's got a... Oh, then the reverse of reverse hit of up smash. <laughs> yeah, that'll take game one for Bailey. Very commanding game. Yeah, that was very, very commanding in Bailey's favor. Has he lost a weekly yet? Has he lost... Good question. I haven't... I don't freaking know. <laughs> Has he lost? Can't win if he's not here, but outside of those ones, I have no idea. Oh. So Smash oh. was the counter pick. Yeah, Smashville for Ridley. That's actually... I think that center platform helps him out a lot. I agree. He can cover a lot of that with Nair and his other huge freaking moves. Balo have my children? Oh, I see. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Thanks, Twan. Thanks, Twan. I mean, we're all thinking it. You just have the courage to say it. <laughs> Alright, so this game, not as... Like, the start is not as rough for Troy as the last yeah, one. Yeah, Corey's finding his footing, but we have to remember at the beginning of the first... Half of the 100% on Bailey's first stock, Croy got in the on his first stock. That's true. So it was fairly even at the beginning, and then ba uh, Balo kind of ran with the momentum after that. Ooh, looking for the confirm there. But not enough. Is that going to be? Oh, nice excellent tag. tech. Oh, oh but about a sour an angle. angle. Yikes. Yeah. Nothing right. too much. Nothing of too much. Oh, well, I looked away and he died. <laughs> Gets the up smash. It is. That's how it is. <laughs> now he's finding his low percent combos. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was an unfortunate mistake from Bailey, but he doesn't die from it. Right. He recovers back. That's excellent. Honestly, Bailey off stage with Fox, even without Fox, Bailey off stage is freaking awesome. Right. 
like he makes no mistakes. Well, well, he did earlier. <laughs> he did he earlier. makes virtually no mistakes. He texts everything. He gets his up, his uppies friggin'. He's good at placing it, I find. Right. And, and another I find off, another off smash. Wow. This set's gonna be over before I'm done talking about Bailey off stage. <laughs> Getting the drills. Very interesting move. It wasn't really used in Smash 4 until the end of Smash 4, where Foxes are like, wow, this is actually very really good. Uh, um, what was it again? The drill, the down air. Ah, right. Oh. I thought we were going to see a Smash 4 there for a second. <laughs> not quite. Yeah, not. I don't think it's true in this game. Yeah, Croy is on his last stock here. He can seal it out if he manages to... Get some gas built up, and oh. ooh, not with an angle like that, though. Yeah. yeah, this is winner's final, so we have our third game coming up now. Good thing coming up. Bailey up 2-0. And I'm going to look at the stages. It's Town City this time. So, Town City coming from Roy. Yeah, I, I can see that working out for him. Right. Certainly gives him a lot of space to move around. Maybe de a little more space to deal with Fox. Oh, so going to see more uh, plasma bearer. Yes. Um, however, do you have to be aware of the reflector, the shine. Uh, but overall, right now. Yep, he's, he's got it now. Ooh. Oh, that could have... I feel... He's at 65, and I feel like that could have killed. De um, probably with the two-frame, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but Bailey's putting on the pressure now. He almost just, evened it up. Yeah, he, he, he almost evened it up with that, and he's text. He put a lot of pressure on Croy and made him back up. And he gained stage control from that, and he pushed him all the way off stage with it. Right. And Fox is simply great at doing that. And he gets so much damage, and he hits you with one move, and you just go, Whoa, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, questionable side be there. Yeah. And again... These low percent He's combos there. with the Nair, dude. Yeah. He's trying to... He hasn't... Bailey hasn't given up on this stock yet. He's still doing as much as he can with it. Right. <clears throat> like, any aerial from uh, Cory will just kill him. That was close. But with this sock, he's he's taking 11 damage. He's taking 11 damage since he killed Croy. Right. And he's racked up 121. Yeah. Oh, too much charge, and Nair's going to take it. Tipper Nair, I believe. But yeah, now Balo has his commanding lead thanks to that last stock lasting so long. Right. Town said he definitely a huge stage. Um... And he just took advantage of that. One sixty-seven. Second stock here. He's still. Hmm. They're on the same stocks, but uh, why do I talk? Why do <laughs> I speak? That up there taking it. Why do I speak? What's interesting is that I didn't know that Fox Up Tilt still comboed into itself like it did in Smash 4. <laughs> yep, and you can do it out of dash in this game. Oh, that nutty. was a... But that is that was also really nutty. <laughs> Pressured him to go high and then immediately just capitalized on that. So, a bit of a percent lead over, like... 
Royce doing a good job of keeping stage control there. Oh, exactly. a little bit of an overextension, but not overextension. He extended. But yeah, I, I feel like once Croy gets off stage, Bailey as Fox is. Oh my God! Don't do that. <laughs> Bailey as Fox is going to stay right at that ledge and pressure you, but right. Croy is gonna. Ooh. ooh. Oh, it didn't kill. Croy's gonna try to stay. A little more oh, messes up the angle trying to avoid the down smash. Yep, so now we're at 2 1. We get to see a game four. We and do. that is unfortunate. That up B. That's, uh, that's the sad angle. That's the. That's the angle that doesn't. You don't want to get. That's. That's the last. Like the very. The milk carton at the very front of the grocery. You don't want that. You don't <laughs> touch that. Is the act like you get the, you just move it aside, take the one behind it. Like it's all you like the it's yellow, it's got dirt on the bottom. You don't want it. So going into game four, battlefield. Battlefield. I, I can see this. This is a yeah, good I, pick. I mean, it's a Smash Four Classic for Fonte. Oh yeah. I don't know how this works out for Croy. I feel like it. Balo chose it just because he's more comfortable there, but also. But also it depends on what the bands were in the first place. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this goes for Croy. However, right now. He's oh, what, did I catch him on ledge? Nair just caught him on ledge. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, and that back air is gonna take it. So Croy finding, I think this is the first time he hit the Ooh, lead. third one? Ooh. Ooh, almost. Ah, yeah, you'll die for that, though. I was going to say, I think this is the first time Croy has found the lead in, in this set. Um, finding his footing from the last game. Ooh, finally lands uh, that down smash he's been looking for. Yeah, and that's it. That's exactly why Balo chose the stage. That The triple up air, he could have gotten like five off that. <laughs> Oh, is that dead? However, oh. I am seeing it from Ridley, uh, Croy's perspective. Nair is covering that platform really well at ledge. Oh, yeah. Croy with... Ridley with any platform is going to be really good with that Nair. Up smash will cover the whole thing. Oh, that's a nice lock. But, yeah. And really, anything with platforms is good for Ridley, I feel. Yeah. Like, in varying degrees, but... Yeah. We're seeing Croy really adapting and getting used to... The way Balo is setting up shop here. Right. He's got a more solid lead than he did last time. Last time it was more uh, a last a last chance situation there. But now he's trying to take hold here. Oh. Oh. Misses the two frame just barely. Oh. One hit, one big mini dragon hit. Oh, off stage. Oh, he doesn't tech it, but he doesn't get stage spiked either. Ooh. Yeah, Croy not wanting to throw out an aerial there and put himself in a bad position. Bailey definitely has to find this stock fast. That's it. However, Croy finds it first. And we're going to game five. All right. All right. Now, what do you think we're going to see for from Bailey for a stage pick. Like, where, where do you think he wants to go? Honestly. Oh. That's, that's, I found that interesting. He went to town and city. I think. Even though that was. I'm pretty sure this is full DSR. Yeah, it's so full DSR, so I don't think he can go there, actually. Unless they. Gentlemen. Oh, gentlemen? I guess so. All right, we're seeing it anyway. I don't think Croy minds because actually in game two, he counterpicked there. Right. He's won there before. So, I don't think he minds. Now, I don't know how full DSR works when both players win. Because if they go back for game five... Uh, yeah, the whole thing with DS with full DSR is that if anyone wins, you can't go back. Right. So... I think anyway. <laughs> I just thought about that, actually. I'm not sure. 
It's either if either player wins or if... Oh, wow. Calling out the neutral get up there. I'm going to talk, stop talking about Sages. <laughs> oh, and oh, the double. The burp. Oh, my goodness. That's an explosive start. We are not even a minute in. Both players are stocked down. Pretty sure I just saw that bot die at 70 after the hit. And he's... Oh, 70. He went for an F-Smash again. Again, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going ham. He is. Balo very good at pushing his advantage. Oh, yeah. He's going for this kill. He wants it, and he wants it now. Oh, bad spot, but doesn't get two frames. Right. Even stocks, but Bailey's still holding on here. Pushing his advantage. Getting the good stuff. Side B? Yep. Mm. Roy, he keeps getting stuffed out at, at the edge there. He's managed to escape now. But I feel like he's really... Ooh, especially with that, I feel like he's really thirsty for this kill. Right. Dash attack, get stage control back. Ooh, just the one. Oh yeah, the side B. He's... I feel like he's really... He really wants his kill. Because he knows if he doesn't get it soon, he's going to take a million percent. And already at 73 on yeah, his last 75. Long. Fox doing his job, but I feel like this is not going to end well for Koi. Let's see here. I don't want to count him out, because Ridley's a strong machine, and Koi's a very, very fantastic player. Exactly. However, that'll take it. That will, that will indeed take it. Yeah, right after, after Bailey started racking up the damage there you could see you could see that Croy really wanted to take that as soon as possible because he saw it before in previous games he they were on evil playing grounds and or Bailey was higher by a stock at high percents and then you take a million damage trying to seal off this stock this time it got the better of him right 